All right, we are on the last day of our staycation in Waikiki. We're at the Imperial Hawaii Resort. And today the girls and I are gonna head up to Diamond Head. So they've made a new process. You now need reservations. Uh, we were able to get ours. I definitely put it to the last minute and we were still able to get reservations for the next day. So if you don't need parking, that helps. But if you need parking, I recommend booking at least three to four days in advance, uh, preferably longer if you're planning your trip in advance. But we're gonna show you what to expect and then we're gonna show you views from the top and the trail itself so you can get an idea of you know, what, to, what you're getting into. So anyways, here's our view from our balcony, our last full day in Waikiki. And girls, you ready to do this? Yeah. Yes. Mommy, what do you think? You ready to go up Diamond Head? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared too. What you think, Leah? I'm ready. And the girls have actually never been up to the top of Diamond Head, so this is a first for them. What do you think, Push Pop Where's Princess? My cap? Huh? Where's my cap? Your cap for your Push Pop? Yeah. What about Diamond Head? There it is. I'm looking for it. Are you ready to go hiking, baby? Yes. You think you can do it? Yes. Do you think you can make it to the it's top? Climbing up stairs. What? All right, we're on our way to Diamond Head and just want to show you guys the route. So we basically are turning off of uh, the beach walk area and we're going right onto Kalakaua Avenue. And then it doesn't matter, even if you're gonna walk from Waikiki or you're driving, the route is pretty much the same. You're gonna go right on Kalakaua and when it veers and cuts off, uh, you can either go kind of stay left or go right at the end of Waikiki, you're gonna stay left and that's gonna take you on a Montserrat Avenue and it's gonna go right up to Diamond Head. So just kind of watch this video and I'll, you'll, you'll see which way to go for driving and which way if you're gonna walk it or jog to Diamond Head. Okay, so when you come in, you're gonna basically come up to the window here. You show them your PUC code, or not PUC code, your uh, QR code, and then you're good to go. Um, I forgot to do our parking and, because they I waited to the last minute, but luckily she was cool and it's all good. So what you do, you come in, you find yourself a nice little parking stall. Yep. Put on the sunscreen. Wait, what? Boom. Yeah. So once you get into the park, you show your QR code, uh, you come in, you find a parking stall, and then you want to make sure you just bring sunscreen, plenty of water, good hiking shoes. <laughs> so we did not bring hiking shoes. We only have our slippers. Are you guys ready to do this with no hiking shoes? Mm -hmm. But we recommend hiking shoes, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So we're going to make it work.
All right, got the sunscreen on and we are ready to do this thing. Um, I'm going to time this so that you get an idea of how long this might take for a family of four. So I'm using my iPhone, gonna put the timer on and then our, or the stopwatch feature and then we'll get an idea of how, much, how long it takes for a family of four to get to the top and how long it takes, you know, once you're there and then coming back down for the whole trip. Just so you can plan effectively and uh, get the timing down because I know when you're on holiday, every minute counts, so. Ay, ay, ay. All right, water break. A series of stairs coming up ahead. This is kind of the hardest part. Falling down that would not be a good time. Go left. If you have doubts, go left. We're at the top now, and you can actually see Diamond Head Beach below and the lighthouse. All right, let's check the time. Daddy, 32 minutes to get to the top. Not bad, and we did not go fast. Dad, I found a lighthouse. Let's see it. Oh, sweet. There's a few different vantage points, which is nice. I always prefer seeing the ocean though. Yeah. 
down? Okay. So you got pretty good views over the entire city of Honolulu and Waikiki area. I told Leah we're inside a crater. There yeah, we are. We are legitimately in, inside and on the edge of the crater. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's gonna erupt. <laughs> yeah. That's all Kapiolani Park and Waikiki down below in Honolulu. So massive views. Totally worth it for 30, 35 minutes. <laughs> uh, we did it. We made it to the top about 35 minutes. And was it that bad? <laughs> no? What do you think about me? Decent? What do you think about the view? Um, high five girls, good job. You earned a shave ice and you earned a shave ice. High five. Oh, oh good one. All right, mommy. All right, so all in, it took us an hour and 21 minutes. So again, that was about, what, 32 minutes, 33 minutes to the top. We spent some time up there, and then we took our time on the way back down because it started raining, but we had a five-year-old and an eight-year-old, so we had two little ones who'd never done it before, and keep in mind, all four of us did it in sandals. So we probably took a bit longer than most, but I saw various people at different age and skill levels doing it. So. I'd say give yourself an hour and a half uh, if you're fairly fit and think you'd be okay doing the pace that we did, hour and 45 to two hours if you are a little bit more out of shape or thinking that it might be harder for your group. But overall, awesome experience and we'll do it again as a family. Right girls? Yeah. Yes. Woo! Oh, shave ice with ice cream just as I promised. What flavors did you get, Lily? Strawberry, pineapple, and mango with some mochi and ice cream. That is huge. <laughs>